going to come standard with our Daniel Defense Flash Hider, which is a salt bath nitride finish. Behind that, you have a 16-inch mid-length gas system barrel, which is a government profile barrel. And then the rail system is our Slim Rail 15.0. The Slim Rail is a key mod system that is also utilizing our patented bolt-up system. The V11, much like every other Daniel Defense rifle, will ship standard with our Daniel Defense 32-round magazine. And it will also ship with our new Daniel Defense grip and rip ambidextrous charging handle. The DDM4 V11 is one of the lighter configurations that we make, weighing in just at 6.2 pounds. It is going to come standard with ambidextrous selector levers and is chambered in 5.56. This particular configuration comes in multiple different colors. You can either get it in our Daniel Defense Mil Spec Plus or the Daniel Defense Tornado Gray. And then obviously we have it in the black color as seen here. The DDM4 V11 is an overall lightweight, fantastic rifle that will make a great addition to a gun safe. Modern sporting rifle. A rugged, reliable Ruger, it will serve you well out of the box or serve as a great foundation for your custom build. The Ruger AR556 MPR, or multi-purpose rifle, is Ruger's custom build. It's assembled with top quality, well-matched components. It's still a rugged, reliable Ruger. It's still an outstanding value. The AR556 MPR is an exceptionally accurate rifle, and it seems to do everything very well. The heart of the AR556 build is its barrel. Cold hammer forged from chrome molly steel. It's forged with minimum bore and groove dimensions and 5R rifling. 5R rifling distorts bullet jackets less, fouls more slowly, cleans more easily. This barrel is forged with a 1 in 8 twist that will stabilize just about any bullet length. And the 18 inch length gives a little extra velocity boost over the standard 16 inch tube. A highly accurate build need not have a super heavy barrel contour. The AR556 MPR has a 700 diameter in front of the gas block, a 750 diameter at the gas block journal, and the barrel contour is trimmed away behind the gas block. This lightweight contour contributes to fast and quick handling. The barrel is capped with a radial port muzzle brake that reduces recoil and muzzle rise, further contributing to quick handling. Recoil is further reduced by the rifle length gas system. The softer operating impulse is easier on the rifle and easier on the shooter. Accuracy is further enabled by the low pro gas block, which is free floated inside the 15 inch handguard. This light trim handguard features M lock slots at the three, six and nine o'clock position, as well as the upper 45 positions and a full length Picatinny rail that matches the Picatinny on the flat top upper. The barrel is nitrided to help it maintain its great accuracy over more rounds downrange. Longevity is further enhanced by chrome plating on the ID of the bolt carrier and the bolt. The bolt is 9310, it's shot peened and proof tested. The Ruger AR556 MPR features Ruger's Elite 452 trigger. It's a two stage trigger. The first take up stage is followed by a crisp, clean four and a half pound break. The Ruger MPR features Magpul MOE furniture, the adjustable for length buttstock with a comfortable cheek weld, the appropriately textured grip for great control and great comfort, and when coupled with the trim handguard, the MPR offers great ergonomics. The Ruger AR556 multi-purpose rifle does everything well. If your game is shooting tiny groups from the bench, three gun or multi gun events, or just plinking at the range, the MPR does it all and does it all. Well. Hey everyone, I'm John Rasmussen from HK Shooting. You know, there's probably no more recognizable firearm in history than the iconic HK MP5. From military special operations unit to elite law enforcement teams, just the mere profile of the MP5 is immediately recognizable by people from around the world and all generations. It has been 30 years since the U.S. public has been able to buy an MP5 style firearm from HK. Sure, there have been clones, but a real German-made HK MP5 style firearm has been unavailable. But now, after a long and painful wait, it's here. The HK SP5. The SP5 is an all German-made 9mm roller-delayed blowback action sporting pistol. It ships standard with a rugged nylon case, two 30-round curved magazines, a sling, and a sight tool. The heart of any firearm is its barrel. The SP5 comes standard with the Navy barrel. 
an 8.9 inch cold hammer forged barrel made of HK's legendary cannon grade steel. With the half by 28 pitch threaded muzzle along with the tri-lug barrel allows the attachment of many commonly found muzzle devices and suppressors. The backbone of the SP5 is its roller delayed blowback action, legendary for its accuracy, reliability, and smooth operation. The SP5 comes standard with HK's upgraded F bolt carrier group. Developed in a bid to win a European law enforcement contract, HK had to submit 10 sample MP5s which had to fire 400,000 rounds of ammunition with zero stoppages and only minimal malfunctions allowed. This same bolt group is found in the SP5. Another welcome upgrade on the SP5 is that it ships with the ambidextrous trigger pack, which includes the extended safety selector levers. The extended safety selector levers allows both right and wrong-handed shooters to more easily manipulate the safety regardless of finger length. Just like the MP5, the SP5 comes standard with a paddle magazine release, which is fully ambidextrous and facilitates faster magazine changes. When you buy an HK SP5, you get quality HK fit and finish. You won't get an out-of-spec magazine wheel, out-of-spec optic mounting tabs, a crooked cocking tube, a canted front sight, an out-of-time barrel. What you will get with the SP5, because it's made in the same factory, on the same tooling, by the same workforce that has been building MP5s for years, is the highest level of quality and workmanship that can only be found from HK. The SP5 ships as a pistol, but it is easily SBR'd, and it accepts all common braces and stocks without fitment issues common in other clones. The new HK SP5. Buy it, stamp it, and have your own genuine HK MP5. From all of us here at HK, thanks for your time. We'll see you on the range. Hi, I'm Patrick Hanley with Sig Sauer, and what I have for you today is the new Cane Brake Rattler. As many of you know in the past, the MCX has been very well known for its 6 and 3 quarter configuration. The suppressed version of the 6 and 3 quarter was the original reason the MCX was designed. Then we later moved into the Rattler family, which brought that barrel size down to 5.5. Never before have we shipped in this configuration an SD-ready platform, for the reason being that once we install the SD handguard, the barrel usually sits with inside the handguard. With the inert training device, it allows to make sure that the user, if they do not have a suppressor installed, has the ability to function the firearm without the flash being inside of the handguard. This inert muzzle device is designed that it can function with the rifle in the unsuppressed setting. However, the intention of this rifle is to have it set up so that it can be suppressed. Any 762 suppressor will immediately mount to this platform by removal of the inert training device. Some of the other features that we have to the cane brake rattler is we have a flat blade FDE trigger, which is a match two-stage duo trigger to what same as what ships on MCX today. And then you also have the PCB folding brace in the back, which allows you to bring the rattler down to a smallest possible configurable size for storage. This PCB also pivots in the back to allow any users, when they're functioning this as a pistol, to be able to bend their arm so the rifle will actually contour with their, with their arm as they shoot. If you want to learn more about the Cane Brake Rattler or about any of the other MCX family, make sure you go and visit sigsour.com and make sure Hi, I'm Jerry Mitchellark, Smith & Wesson professional shooter, and I'd like to introduce to you the new Smith & Wesson M&P-15X rifle. Some of the features of this rifle is a six-position buttstock. Going forward with that, it has a flip-up rear sight. It's made by Magpul. It's the m model. And on the bottom of the frame here, they have an integral forged trigger guard. The handguard assembly is an M&P Slim modular handguard with M-lock capability. It also ships with a two-inch rail section so you can attach vertical grips or optics or an accessory of choice. Moving on to the barrel assembly, it comes with a 16-inch barrel. It's chambered in 5.56 NATO. It also has 5 ball rifling. And it'll handle any bullet weight you can put in it from the lightest to the heaviest. It has a carbine length gas system. The barrel is treated with an armor knife finish both interior and exterior. And that's really great for wear resistance and also corrosion resistance. And it's all topped off with their proprietary flash suppressor guys this also works as a mild muzzle brake uh, just a good setup also included is the Magpul 30 round P mag so for more information on the Smith & Wesson M&P 15X rifle you can go to the Smith & Wesson website